Need some fast, cheap, reliable muck coins? Go to MMOXP.com and use discount code MONEYSHOT for 5% off your order. Link in the description below. Welcome back, YouTubers and Madden fans. This is Mad Money Shot. Sniffing out the Madden cheese as always. Got another Madden 21 rigs drop. Today they had the cornerbacks uh, drop, one of which I already reported on a 99 overall uh, Stephen Gilmore um, a couple days ago. The uh, the 99 overall, all the 99 overall players uh, were released, and he was the only cornerback to make it probably in a long time. I can't remember the last time they had a, a 99 overall cornerback. But Stephen Gilmore, who won Defensive Player of the Year last year, uh, he got that award this year. He got that. Uh, that respect from EA, uh, and I think it was deserved. I, I don't really have an issue with him uh, necessarily, but there are some cornerbacks on here that I'm going to uh, take a little bit of issue with. Uh, one of which uh, is number five, Tredavious White. There's a there's a contingent of people out there that really swear up and down that Tredavious White is the best cornerback in the league, and uh, his stats are pretty comparable. I mean, I've seen some some uh, some comparative uh, you know numbers between him and Stephen Gilmore, and they're pretty pretty on point. Like he's pretty much right there as far as numbers with Stephen Gilmore. And the Bills had just as dominant of a defense, I would say, uh, through most of the season. You know, pretty much on par uh, with one of the best defenses in the league. Um, so you know, that's something that uh, I would definitely say uh, I don't necessarily agree with. I mean, I really like Jair Alexander. But I don't think that he's, uh, I mean, on this list, they have him tied with slash ahead of Tredavis White. They have him at number four, so they have him ahead of Tredavis White. I don't think there's um, four cornerbacks in the league better than Tredavis White. Uh, same thing with Marlon Humphrey. I mean, he's a guy who's really on the rise. I would have him, I would have Jair Alexander drop down. I would have them as my top five. I'd have uh, Marlon Humphrey probably in that top five. Tredavious White, obviously, I'd probably move him up a little bit. Um, and then the top three, I mean, it's hard to argue the top three. The top three are, are star players, uh, with especially Jalen Ramsey, who probably, in my opinion, probably could have had a 99 overall, uh, you know, one of his years. He's been a great player. But um, it's hard to argue him. I mean, he's he's one of the most versatile uh, cornerbacks in the game. I mean, he used to play safety in college. This guy can do it all. I mean, he could play safety in the NFL if he wanted to. And then Richard Sherman. Richard Sherman um, had a really good year last year, uh, but I mean, a little bit of the luster came off when he got to the Super Bowl and he was facing a, a little bit of a faster offense. He really couldn't keep up, uh, but he's still a great cornerback. I mean, the, the, the pass defense for the Niners was top-notch last year, and he's a big part of that. So I don't have a problem with the top three, but after that, Certain things I have a little bit of issue with. Like I said, I think uh, Jair Alexander is a great player. Move him down a little bit. My Probably my biggest issue on this entire board, though, is number 10, Patrick Peterson. Uh, I don't know. When did Patrick Peterson fall off? I mean, honestly, like he was always thought of as a top three, top five cornerback. And here he barely makes it on at number 10. Uh, if you're wondering, last year uh, was the first year that Patrick Peterson in his entire NFL career didn't make a Pro Bowl selection. And the reason for that wasn't necessarily because of his play. It was because he was suspended for six games. And when you're suspended for what he was suspended for, I think you're not even eligible to be on the ballot for a Pro Bowl nomination. So Patrick Peterson could have very well have made his ninth straight Pro Bowl this last year if it wasn't for the fact that he was suspended. He wasn't even suspended for... Uh, uh, for he didn't test positive as far as I know. I mean, I'm not an authority on it, but he didn't test positive of any substance other than a diuretic, a masking agent, which typically means you're trying to hide that you're cheating but the guy's been playing for you know 10 years i don't know of any any background of him uh cheating or doping so it's really hard to say but ultimately uh, i just don't see how patrick peterson like i said he's technically tied for eighth uh, but I just feel like players. I mean, I talked about this when I when I reported on um, Chandler Jones's rating be a little bit lower than I thought. I mean, I just feel like guys that play off the radar, that don't play on winning teams, uh, really just lose. They just don't get the ratings bumps that guys on winning teams get. Uh, but there's no doubt in my mind, Patrick Peterson's also a guy that should be up higher. He should probably be closer to top five as well. So uh, you know, those are you know, no 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 huge complaints here. Uh, Darius Slay, pretty cool to see him uh, on the list. I mean, I think he's a great cornerback as well. Byron Jones. Jones. I think I always say that when guys change teams, uh, EA tends to give them a little bit of a ratings bump based off of uh, you know that's something that when you buy a new game, that's what you want to play with. You want to play with the, the, your you know your favorite free agent that went to your team or something like that. I don't really feel like Byron Jones probably should even be on this list. He, I don't even think he had a pick last year. I mean, he's a good player. But I'm just saying, like, I don't think he's a top 10 cornerback, in my opinion. Uh, and I don't think that he should be 
ahead of Patrick Peterson and Darius Slay like he is on this list. I mean, honestly, like, yeah, he got a big contract, but he's not better uh, than a lot of the cornerbacks in the league. I think his teammate, teammate Xavier Howard, who got hurt last year, should be on here more than him. Uh, speaking of which, Miami is going to have a really, really tight secondary, real sleeper secondary there. <laughs> so, so make sure that the, I mean they're going to they're an up and coming team. Uh, but like I said, other than that, I think this list is is pretty fine. I, I haven't really complained too much about any of these lists because honestly, none of it really matters anyway. Speed is pretty much the only thing that matters. Height is probably the secondary thing that matters when it comes to cornerbacks anyway. So this doesn't you know you can just throw the ratings in the trash. If you guys want to see more videos of as I keep trying to keep you guys up to date uh, when they release safeties, which is probably next, or I don't know, they skipped over receivers. So receivers, tight ends. If you want to see these videos when they when they drop, let me know in the comment section with the like button. I'll do that next. Other than that, thanks for watching, man. My shit out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.